Welcome back to Talk of the Town. I'm joined now by Shirley Gutkowski with Primal Air. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me, it's great. And we are talking about snoring. So why snoring? What's the big deal? <laughs> well, the big deal is that nobody's sleeping when you're snoring and you have really a lot of issues that go along with it. Everything from financial issues to mm -hmm. um, medical issues, relationship issues, emotional issues. It really touches every part of your life, not yeah. just the sleeping part. Now, emotional stress, you mentioned. Right. So let's say, let's just imagine that you could say that sleeping equals, or snoring equals sleeplessness. Okay. The person next to the snore isn't getting any sleep, and the snore is not getting any sleep either. So if you're not sleeping, mm -hmm. what happens? You're crabby. When you're crabby, you start arguments or you find arguments to have. And That's then the, so whole, the whole thing just keeps on going downhill, downhill. Kids who snore are particularly at risk because their executive function doesn't work. Oh. So they can't think their way through a lot of problems. And then that shows up in school and wow. all kinds of other places. I guess I haven't even thought about that. That can mm -hmm. be huge for it's a child. huge. Absolutely. And you guys kind of work with people to help them with snoring, it sounds right, like. Right, right. So we work with the muscles in what I'm calling the snoring complex. So <laughs> I know. I like that. <laughs> it's the nose, the mouth, and the back of the throat. Okay. So we help people. Um, we've developed techniques to help people work those muscles to get them nice and toned so that they can get rid of their snoring or make it less and make everything be much better for everybody in the family. And now you don't only just work with adults. No. No, because children snore too. Yeah. Some of the key indicators for children would be a kid that's sucking his thumb. So we would help them get rid of their thumb sucking. Okay. So it's, you know, there's, it just has all these tentacles that go in everywhere. Absolutely. And so I'm curious, you told me that you're going to show me a technique. Yes. I'm not sure what it's going to be. And I told you you would be, have to stand on your head, but we'll try a different one instead. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. So I see you have your little yes. bottle of water there. So if you take those, this is going to be an exercise that's going to strengthen the back of the mouth. So the techniques start in the front of the mouth and they go back and forth and back and forth. Okay. So if you take a little sip of water and then bite your teeth together, don't swallow it yet, and lips apart. Now, can you swallow with your lips apart without squirting the water all over? Did I do it? Uh, not really. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> you had to use gravity. You had to hold your head up to get the wow. water back. Okay, I'm going to try it again. Okay, try it again. <laughs> and you moved your head like that. So that wow, tells me as a test that you don't have a lot of control over the muscles in the back of your throat. And then that would be an exercise that would help with that, along with some of the other stuff. Wow. So could that help people, too, who aren't snoring? Yes, definitely. Hmm. So there's something called an upper airway restricted sleep, which doesn't necessarily cause or make a sound. Yeah. But you're still having a collapsed airway, and you're not breathing well. Interesting. I now know. I'm. I don't know Super if I cool. snore. I guess I'll have well, to have, have somebody to, have to get a tape recorder. Yeah, somebody maybe. check and see something <laughs> like that. And so, how long does it take to finish a full treatment sequence for somebody who's a snorer? I'm using the Mo Molar Protocol by Joy Molar, who is the um, the big executrice of the whole thing, and she recommends a year long treatment sequence. Mm -hmm. But you know, a lot of people are like, oh my god, a year. But if you do the exercises as they're directed, you can graduate early pretty easily. A lot of people do. So we just say a year just to cover our bases. Now, do you treat any other conditions as well? Yeah. Um, so as I mentioned, thumb sucking yeah. for little kids and medium sized kids. And even I'm running into some adults who oh, suck no. their thumbs or fingers. Sure. And then people who have are on their second time with braces. Oh. A lot of times the braces aren't, or the braces didn't work, tooth braces, because the tongue is not acting right. So the tongue is pushing the teeth or the tongue has never been really huh. addressed during the braces sequence. Wow, that is so interesting. I've never thought of it like that. <laughs> wow. It's really just reaches everywhere. Awesome. So where can people go to find more information? Well, we have a website, okay. primalair.com, and they can find some information there. 
And uh, on our Facebook page, we like to keep that updated once a day or so. And they can also email us. And I think all of the information is on the bottom of the screen right here. <laughs> Wonderful. And again, Shirley Gutkowski with Primal Air, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you very much. And thank you all for watching Talk of the Town. Find us next time only on Channel 57.